Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, February 5th. It's the fifth week after the Epiphany and week five in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 80, and John chapter 7, verse 37 to 52. And now join me, please, in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endures. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you that lead Joseph like a flock. Hallelujah. Psalm 80, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you that lead Joseph like a flock. Shine forth, you that dwell with cherubim before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh. Stir up your strength and come and save us. Restore us again, O God, and shine your face on us, and we shall be saved. O beloved God of hosts, how long will you be angry against the prayer of your people? You feed us with the bread of tears, and give us abundant tears to drink. Our neighbors ridicule us, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Restore us again, O God of hosts, and shine your face on us, and we shall be saved. You have brought a vine out of Egypt, and cast out the heathen, and planted it. You prepared room before it, and caused it to take deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and its branches were like a good cedar. She set out her bows to the sea, and her branches to the river. Why have you broken down her hedges? so that all which pass by pluck her. The boar of the wood ravages it, and the wild beast of the field devours it. Return, we beseech you, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which you planted, and the branch that you made strong for yourself. It is burned with fire and cut down. May they perish at the frown of your face. Let your hand be on those whom you have chosen, whom you have made strong for yourself. We will not turn away from you. Revive us, and we shall call upon your name. Restore us again, O beloved God of hosts. Shine your face on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you that lead Joseph like a flock. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 7, beginning at verse 37. Now on the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive. For as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some in the crowd said, This is really the prophet. And others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not arrest him? And the police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. Then the Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? 
Has any one of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before, and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing to find out what they are doing, does it? And they replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. Here ends the lesson. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Shine your face on us, O Shepherd of Israel. Visit us and revive us, restore us and save us, and strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. 